Hi folks, it's Evo here from Thunderbus Lure Company. Great to see you and welcome to today's episode of Thunderbus Fishing Tips. I'm out here on the Niagara River and today folks, we're looking for that walleye bite. So I'm gonna make my way out. It's the calm before the storm. We've got some nasty weather coming tomorrow. So I thought to myself, let's get out today and get a line wet. That's what we're gonna do. So stay tuned folks. I'm looking to have a great day on the water. First cast, folks. I always love the first cast. Okay, so what I'm doing today, folks, we're gonna be jigging. I'm using the flexi jig. And those of you who know it, know that the jig flexes down on the hook set, which changes the angle of the hook set and gives you a direct hook set. And what I did, folks, is I brought a whole bunch of schoolie minnows with me, plastics, and I'm opening up with the black flexi jig with a silvery black schoolie. So kind of matching the colors up a little bit that way. And uh, I also brought a chartreuse flexi jig and I might rig that up with maybe the, uh, the, the, blue, uh, the blue schoolie. So anyhow, what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna try different baits, different colors and see what these fish are relating to today. And all I'm doing, folks, I cast it out, and now the current is going in this direction. Okay, so I'm working the jig back against the current, lifting it up and let it fall down, hit bottom, lift it up, and let it fall down. Okay, against the current as, a comp as opposed to with the current. You get much better action, and you have better control over your jig when you're doing it against the current. So that's gonna be the technique working it back towards the boat, letting it hit bottom. You could feel it when it hits the bottom because your jig will have a little thump, like right there. Lift it up and bounce it back. So that, uh, that schoolie minnow's got a, a paddle tail. So the paddle tail is gonna be wobbling away down there, creating some vibration. And they're scented, so uh, if a walleye comes near it, I'm sure he's gonna attack it because that's what we're looking for today. Hopefully we'll get into some walleye. All right, so that's the technique. Let's see if we produce. <laughs> okay, folks, the first cast didn't produce, but the second one did. You gotta love that. Gave me a nice little pickup too, folks. Nice pickup, real nice pickup. Now, is it a walleye? I don't know, but he's kind of fighting like a walleye. So I'm fighting the current here and I'm fighting the fish. So the color, that actual color that I'm using is called Smoky Silver. And I went with it because it's got a dark back to it, but it's got that silvery kind of flake in there with this little bit of sun. A little bit of sun out here today. It's kind of partly cloudy, but it's clearing up. And the sun is starting to come out more. And I figure with that silver fleck, this would be a great choice. And it matches up nice with the black head. I try to match my my lures best that I can, right? Okay. Let's see what we got here, folks. He's fighting like a walleye. We shall see. I hope we shall see. <laughs> I hope we shall see. He's still down there. I don't see. Oh, yes, folks. Is it a walleye? It's a walleye. And a beauty at that. Guess what, folks? First walleye is in the boat. I love it. Okay. Uh, let's take a look at this fish. What a beauty. And that's what I mean about the hook sets on the flexi jig. Look at that, folks. Right up the snout. That's what you want right there. Right up the snout hook set. Beautiful, beautiful fish. Let's grab ourselves a photo. That's a great start right there. Oh, okay, what a nice, that's a nice walleye there, folks. And we're gonna let it go right there. And the back into the water it goes. Okay, you gotta love that, folks. Second cast of the day. Beautiful, beautiful fish. I'm loving it. Okay, time to get my line right back out there again, folks, because usually, usually where there's one, there's more. My bait is no worse for wear, as you can see there. You see that's for me with the dark, dark kind of one side and kind of silvery on the bottom. So that's quite nice. 
So let's give another cast. And I can cast far because I'm using, I've got Thunder Braid I'm running today, folks. 15 pound Thunder Braid with a 10 pound floral leader. And with that braided line, you can get those longer casts as you still have that sensitivity and you're able to set the hook very, very nicely. So that's why I'm casting out further and I'm covering more ground that way too. Okay, so <laughs> an exciting start. I love it. Yes, folks, where there's one, there's more. And my glasses came off. Another nice pickup, folks. Another nice hit right on the fall. Now, I should have mentioned the current is very strong today. So I am using a one ounce flexi jig. That way it keeps me down there, folks, and it keeps me close to the bottom with this strong, strong current. And that's where you want to be, folks, right in the bottom, because especially with these river walleye, I mean, most walleye are hanging around the bottom anyhow, except on Lake Erie, uh, out in the middle of the lake, they like to suspend, feeding on suspended bait fish. But most typical walleye folks, right on the bottom. Okay. I had my drag relatively tight for the hook set, but I gotta lighten up on it right now. I definitely don't wanna lose this fish. Oh, folks, it's a nice walleye. Oh yes, I love seeing that white tip in the tail, uh, white tip in the water, folks. Just love seeing that white tip in the water. Oh yeah, this one, folks, is in the bag. In the bag, folks, and another classic, I'm going to say classic, hook set. Look at that. Right up the snout, folks, right up the snout. Okay, let's get it out, get you out of there, Mr. Walleye, eh, beautiful, isn't that a nice walleye, folks, right there, beautiful, beautiful walleye, that's actually a nice eater, but we're letting them go today, so we're going to let this one go as well, gorgeous, gorgeous fish, okay, and in he goes, all right, I am loving this, folks. So it looks like I made the right color combination. Looks like I made the right selection on the color combo today, folks. Sometimes you never know. I brought a bunch of colors with me. Start off with one. If Antonio was here, we could try something a little bit different, but because I'm by myself, I started out with that smoky silver and the black. Retighten the drag. There we go, you want that drag just perfectly tight for the hook set, and then you can back off on it while you're fighting the fish. Okay, folks, I think I'm in for myself for a great day today. Jigging for walleye, it's so much fun, it's a riot. And when they bite, you'll feel that nice tunk. And as soon as you feel that, boom, you gotta set the hook right away. Don't give them a chance to spit that lure. Although with a scented bait, you've got more time, which is good. Gives you an extra second or two. Get my line down there at the bottom. Okay, I'm back in. But you know what, folks? Jigging for walleye. Give it a try. I'm loving it. You're going to love it, too. Wherever you're tuning in from, I want to thank you, as always, for spending time with me today on today's episode of Thunderous Fishing Tip. And as always, folks, until next time, good luck and good fishing. I am loving this, folks. Loving it.